thought of this one. I get people said they put uh, Jolly Ranchers in Zima. I'm gonna try it with this blue Otter Pop. I wasn't even gonna do my other camera, but I'm doing it. I don't know how much to put in here. I want I want the juice. I don't even want the ice. All right, I guess that only does like half of or a quarter of the way. But still a little bit frozen. Oh, that's good. Just this by itself is good. Zima. Yeah, Zima to me just, I don't know, it doesn't really have a taste to it. It's citrus, but it has like a weird taste to it. I don't know. This might be better. If this tastes good, everybody's going to be doing it. still tastes like Zima. Maybe I'll go get another one and put it in this. It's probably either going to give me a stomach ache or I don't know. What's Zima? Zima's 5.0 percent. Yeah, who, if you didn't know, Zima just came back out in the States. Like, apparently it was still overseas. Zima. I just did it. Somebody's going to try it. Why not? It's already melted. It's already liquid and you don't have to wait for like a Jolly Rancher to melt in there. It's good. I'm telling you it was good. Yeah, I probably should have put two of these in there. So that's the trick. Put two of these, whatever you call them. Uh, people call them Otter Pops, Freeze Pops, I don't know. Whatever. Put two of them in there and try it. I'm telling you, somebody's going to do it besides me. If you do it, send me a message and let me know. Zima. Woo! That Zima's been sitting in my fridge for a week. I've been meaning to do a review on it. Thanks, Scott. Scott Allen says it's a good idea. Yeah, you, my tongue blue. Somebody's going to try it. I'm telling you. I'm telling you. Somebody's going to do it.